Hi, this is Lorena, and I wanted to do a video for you today of these things. These things. These are called block locks. Block locks. Um, I bought these at a quilt store over here in shirts. It's called Scrappy Quilters. Um, these little mine are dirty. Sorry. These little block locks for the flying geese, apparently they're really good to help you with flying geese. Um, I got a variety of them, this one, and then it came with this size. Okay, because I like gadgets. Gadgets. This one, and I got this one. There's like three of them. Sorry, mine are dirty. I already played with them, you know? And so, uh, they're three different sizes. This is a two by four. This is a one and a half by three just like that and then this one is a one by two so this is a little one so I paid 50 something three dollars for this okay for all three I kind of wanted to choke because just one of them was like twenty four dollars so I felt like well I'm getting three for the price of two yeah well, the also good thing is Scrappy Quilters, if you purchase a certain amount, she gives you like a $25 coupon whenever you want to use it if you reach a certain purchase amount. So the good thing is, is I only pay $25 for these, maybe $26 for all three. And I wanted to try them out. And the reason I want to try them out is because I wanted to use them with these and um, kind of add them to my other quilt that I've been working on. And I'll put a couple links up here somewhere on those blocks that I'm working on so yes let's see if these are worth fifty three dollars okay all right bye. it does have a measuring chart for you for um, many different varying sizes of uh, flying geese um, but you they also have the exact size for these the materials you're gonna need are well Depending on whatever size ruler you want to use, um, you just get one yourself, one of the rulers. For every single one of these, if you need two 5x5 five five squares in variation colors, in darks or lights, um, I kind of like this variation. And to make two geese, you can make two geese out of this one ruler and you can make two geese out of this ruler and you'll have enough left over to almost do another half of a geese so you could do almost three with this small one with this one I believe you can only do one so for me to do the four that I did here these four I used four pieces of five by five fabric you're also going to need a marking tool your rotary cutter of course and I recommend you get a small ruler so that you can go ahead and trim off the excess material, re-sew it, and you can turn it into a half square triangle. And so those are the supplies you're going to need to do this tutorial. So these are one and three fourths, almost two, so take off a fourth, that's how I figure that out. And these are two and three fourths. They're almost three inches, but take off a fourth. That makes it two and three fourths. I don't want to confuse you. Okay. I also drew a line on my bigger ones for this bigger square and it says to sew on the line and that's what I'm going to do. So you cut that off and now you have this piece. Now that I have put one piece on, I'm going to go ahead and face this piece just the way we did the other one. Just make sure everything's lined up. Get it on my sewing machine. Of course, I like to go back and do another seam. And if you chain piecing, if you're chain piecing, this kind of goes pretty fast. So here you see I have a couple of these that I need to iron in my little half square triangle pile. And you just go ahead and iron towards the dark. So what you're supposed to do is get this and it has, I don't know if you can see, it has some indention here. 
and if you have the seams ironed towards the top this should snug up perfectly and it really does um, butt up real pretty and then you get your rotary cutter be careful you don't cut yourself while you're pushing towards that seam then rotate your piece this way and it does lock in and that's how you get your perfect flying geese now you know how I told you about these what I do is I have a small two inch ruler one inch area right here and I butt it up to that line and you have a and now I have a whole bunch of beautiful little half square triangles that I could use as corner sets or um, just do something with them and I'll go ahead and trim all of these I don't know if you can see where I sewed right where those points right there and you know that when you open that you'll never lose that point okay so I wanted to show you what you could kind of do with um, these little rulers I didn't do this one of course because it's just not necessarily what I was looking for I was wanting to see if it was easier to make smaller pieces and honestly this comes out beautifully um, I really do like the look of it I really intended to buy this one now they're a little bit pricey they're like fifty something dollars fifty five dollars now I made sure that when I did do this I went ahead and re-sewed so I ended up having these little uh, half square triangles come out of them and this is what I came out of this piece and this was is what came out of this. Now on this one I ended up having a lot more scraps left over and this it was exactly what I needed to have. I ended up having to do with two pieces of fabric you get two pieces of the flying geese. So I used four of them to get this row plus you have this leftover fabric. Um, do I really like it? Yeah I think they're really neat little rollers. They really snug up beautifully um, to that seam line. You just have to make sure that your seam line is upright for it to snug up. Okay, so what do you think? Um, these were pretty pricey. They were like 50 something dollars. I keep saying it because it's a little bit shocking how expensive they are. Now, I was going to get this initial one by itself and it was like $24. This one, um, $24. So I opt to get three for $52. Uh, in comparison to just getting one for 24 now the anything about scrappy quilters they did give me a $25 um, gift certificate I guess that went towards these so in the sense I only spent $25 so if you go to scrappy or quilt house here in San Antonio they do do incentives that as you shop there uh, you accumulate almost like a coupon for $25 now um, is it worth the is it worth it I really kind of do think so. These came out beautifully. I mean, they are um, perfect. I'm not that good at the geese, the flying geese. Um, what I really like about it is that the little ones came out beautiful. There is a size uh, variation. But I think they honestly came out beautiful. If if you're one of those people that like doing small intricate pieces, I do recommend getting this little one. Especially, I'm not good at making flying geese. <laughs> um, and this kind of just measures it just right and it trims off. So you're able to, you know how your flying geese kind of go wonky? Because, I don't know if this is why, because maybe the bias. Um, I've noticed that with this, once you trim it off, it's perfect um but if you don't really do a lot of flying geese and that's not your thing eh. but i really do like them and i really do i believe they have these also for half square triangles if you want to make sure your half square triangles are done right um i just use a ruler 
to do half square triangles. What I like about it is if you go back and sew the, you know, go back and re-sew like I did on the video, um, you end up having a lot of really wonderful, beautiful little scrappy pieces. Yes, you can use them. Some people love scrappy pieces. Yeah. So I really do hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Okay. Bye.